The United States Army is upgrading its tank game. At the ongoing Detroit Auto Show, the newest version of the iconic Abrams main battle tank or MBT has been unveiled. This tank is taking the same path as the Russian T-14 Armada tank by having an unmanned turret at top. The primary reason for having an unmanned turret is because combat statistics over many decades have shown that many of the debilitating shots received by a tank are taken at the turret. So what is the change from a regular tank to this new format of an armored fighting vehicle? In this case, in the traditional layout, only the driver sits in the chassis while the commander, gunner and loader are in the turret of the tank. In these new tanks, the entire crew of three, that is the commander, gunner and driver, will sit in a very well protected cabin in the main body of the tank along with the driver, thus ensuring greater protection for all members of the crew. India 2 is looking at a similar layout as an option for its future-ready combat vehicle that will start replacing the older T-72s in service well within a decade. The FRCV will be a fully digitized, multi-weapon platform tailored for network-centric warfare along both the northern and western borders. It will be equipped with human-machine teaming, ISR integration, it will control unmanned systems, offer advanced battlefield management capabilities. Features include beyond line of sight, strike using loitering munition, 360 degrees panoramic vision for the commander so that he can see all around the tank while being buttoned in inside the armored vehicle, cyber and electronic warfare resilience, and hybrid navigation. Together, these innovations aim to deliver superior adaptability, survivability, and operational dominance. These are some of the same capabilities that the American tank will also have, and it would be tailored for the soldiers of the future. The digital controls now mirror the gaming environment. The training time is significantly reduced. A 13-year-old could probably learn how to drive this thing faster than I could, truthfully, and that's exactly what we want and then provide them all of the artificial tools that come with advanced chips, whether it's NVIDIA or Qualcomm or pick your US chip manufacturer. We bring all that to bear to increase our efficiency, the connectivity and the lethality and the protection of the platform to make sure that when we deploy soldiers, they can go overseas, execute the mission and we bring everybody home alive. These next generation tanks will be game changers in more ways than one. Primarily, these tanks will take an old machine into the technological era in which they exist. You have customizable screens in your cars now. You have sensors that provide safety features. You have things that augment the driver. And then the OEMs can monitor the progress or if you needed to connect to somebody in an emergency in 911. All those wonderful features, that's what changes on the tank going forward. We can now take derivatives of all that technology and put it in the hands of soldiers. Secondly, the tank, which has always been seen as a weapons platform, will now become a sensor and shooter platform, as warfare is increasingly removing fiction from science fiction and transforming into reality. It is war machines such as these that will ensure the safety of our soldiers while delivering greater amounts of lethality onto the enemy. For more videos on defense and strategic affairs, please do like, share and subscribe.